try to imagine your typical Australian yabby as a car. I think it'd look a little something like this. This is the DeVoe Coupe. And just like the Yabby, it's a unique Australian delicacy. It's been romantically styled on the curves of 1930s classics like the Bugatti, Delahaye and Bentley by its Melbourne-based creator, David Clash. I guess the aesthetic quality of, of the early 30s cars um, is, is fairly extreme and, and um, really quite diverse compared to modern cars. Um, they're very expressive and uh, I wanted to capture that sort of expression. David has been designing cars since childhood and spent 14 years as a hobby tinkering away in his garage developing the prototype DeVoe. The first cars used uh, an existing chassis frame uh, which was modified with uh, Jag running gear and uh, from there that frame was um, eventually clad with the shell that was built and um, the interior was then constructed within that. David has since refined that original design and built the first production prototype. This second generation DeVoe is a true blue Aussie inside and out. The car runs straight six four litre motor, it's basically the XR6 motor. All the uh, stuff that we manufacture is made locally. There's a few imported uh, bits and pieces but uh, it's a good 95% Aussie, it's great. What I love about this car is that it just doesn't have a bad angle. From its tail end to its yabby claw like front fenders, it really is a piece of art, so let's take her for a spin. Now the first thing that you notice, like a true classic sports car, you have to pour yourself into the driver's seat. Absolutely love it. Now the interior mixes old and new impeccably with cream leather, period looking digital gauges and of course, the old push button starter. <laughs> the Ford 6 gives the DeVoe a sweet rumble. And there's definitely nothing antique about the acceleration. And the driving position in the DeVoe is nice and low. It has that old world sports car feel about it. The first thing you see when you're driving are the beautiful louvers in the bonnet. But the bonnet is huge. By the time you look over the front of it, you're nearly in the next suburb. For a car styled on a 30s classic, the handling is pretty good. A little bit floaty, but you've got to remember it's not a performance car, but overall, very pleasurable motoring experience. Driving this car is like stepping into the spotlight. We've driven Bentleys, Ferraris, Lambos, and not one of them gets as many looks as the DeVoe. David is currently gearing up for a limited production of four cars per year. So for $168,000, you'll definitely be the first in your street to have one. But the future is looking bright, with inquiries pouring in from around the world and plans for a convertible on the menu. And with a recipe like this, the DeVoe, like the Yabby, could become a tasty Australian export.